Hello and welcome. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Uh, this is Kristen Hatcher of Stardock, and we are here, I'm here today with Brad Wardell, and we are going to talk about Sorcerer King. Let's see here. Um, I am just ensuring that we are, people can hear us and see us. Um, so if you have any problems with the audio, just let us know by typing in the chat box there. And one thing that we did notice, it didn't sound like we were getting any game sound today. So I apologize if you're not hearing any game sound. Um, yeah, that would be terrific. Looks good, Island Dog says. Thank you. I appreciate that. Spencer, can you hear sound from the game? Let's see what he says in just a moment. Not hearing, uh, not hearing anybody just yet, so <laughs> we'll see in just a moment, or I'm not seeing anybody else typing anything. Um, so, but I know at least uh, Spencer is out there and listening in. Island Dog, who's our um, go-to guy, is going to help us make sure we've got everything um, uh, straightened out. And if there are any questions that I'm missing, he keeps me on track. He says he hears low music. So I guess, I guess we're getting something through somehow. All right, let's see if that works. And just to clarify, so I am Kristen Hatcher, this is Brad Wardell, and we are talking about Sorcerer King today. I noticed that it does say Galsiv 3 on the um, uh, title of the stream in our Twitch channel, but of course we do have two games that we, um, we do Twitches for each week. One is Galactic Civilizations 3, the other is Sorcerer King, and right now we are talking about Sorcerer King. Where should we start? What are you doing? So we, we have traditionally begun with a new game, but you've been playing here a while so that you can show us some stuff a little bit further in. Yeah, the late, I mean, it seems like every time I see a new game, we start from the beginning, and uh, that's very interesting the first few times. Eventually, <laughs> that's like, okay, we get it. Okay, right. <laughs> so this is a game I'm playing uh, with Beta 3, which just went out this week, and uh, it's on a huge map which is um, very interesting because we're trying to, this isn't beta, so a lot of things like balance and mm -hmm. pacing, performance and all kinds of stuff have not really gotten to be really hammered out because all the maps in the beta up until this week were small. Okay. So this is like really... So this is a new, uh, yeah, so this is a new um, experience for those who have early access and are playing the beta with us. Um, they get to, wow, look at the size of that I know, map. I have been playing Yes. Early on, and I wasn't power enough to uh, kill them. Then I should probably have been uh, following them around. But now I need to find them because the Doomsday Counter is at 368. When it gets, when this fills up, when it gets to 500, the game's over. He casts a spell, and uh, that's the end of the game. And so I've got uh, 147 turns in. I, I was a little bit sloppy early on with some of my quest choices, and. Uh, as a result, I ended up having uh, a number of, uh, a lot more Doomsday than I normally would have. I'm just checking your volume because some of the uh, attendees are saying your actual speaking volume is low as well. Hmm, that's interesting. The, uh, that would probably be, I can talk closer, but I, to the microphone, but I'm not sure if that's it. It's probably the, whatever on the recording side. So we need our IT guys to... Okay, looks like, yes, we will certainly uh, iron out these bugs. And my apologies because sometimes, uh, you know, when uh, Adam is hosting these or whatever, he's certainly much more technically competent with the all of these particular tools than I am. So it sounds like everything is all working beautifully now. 
according to our commenters in All the right. stream. Well, I just talked so too closer to that. the uh, the thing. <laughs> Now, I, I made a huge... So I'm going to go through and I'm going to complain about the game for the next 20 minutes. All the little bugs. Uh, I've gotten far enough up where I can get this thing called Destiny Sentinel. And it's supposed to tell me that it uses... If it doesn't use any mana, which it doesn't, but if it uses Destiny... Uh, any of my favor... No, let's actually take a step back. Mm okay. I'm playing as the priest. Ah, and the priest okay. gets a resource called Destiny's Favor. Basically, you can ask the gods for a favor. Nice. And uh, I had a lot of favor, and I. But I, at first, I thought, "Wow, look at this spell! It costs zero mana." So I cast a bunch of them. What oh. I didn't realize is I had, <laughs> wasn't paying attention. I was using up my favor. Ah. Well, so? there's another spell mm -hmm. which is destroy enemies, and that would have been really great. Yeah. Right here. See these guys? Mm-hmm. They're coming for me. Yeah, they are coming. There's a lot of them. And if I go to my report screen now, I have been kissing the butt of the Sorcerer King as much as I could. I've gotten my player threat down to two out of five. So basically, and, I, and this is gonna cost me later because you can, as a player, you have a number of interesting traits. Uh, you have courage and uh, compassion and persuasiveness. And one of them is also called cowardice. Nice. Yes, and I, uh, he basically demanded I beg for mercy or he would crush me, and he was in a position to crush me, so I I groveled. <laughs> and that gives me cowardice points, and that's going to bite me in the butt later on, I think, but I'm really struggling because um, there was a bug in my build. So let's go over and look at the... Uh, this thing, this... Uh, not the temples. Oh! Uh, do I have that already? I must. That's excellent. Um, I was supposed to, with Inquisition, was supposed to give me the Sanctuary, which lets me build clerics, which is the, the priest's special mm -hmm. unit. There is no Sanctuary in this build okay. on my machine, so um, I got all, that was bad for me. So I'm going, as soon as I get, in five more turns, I'm going to get more Destiny's Favor, because I, I, I'll, I'll be able to get five, and then I'll be able to do some bad stuff. But the question is, if I'll be a, this is my capital, right here, mm -hmm. and I have been building outposts and upgrading them as much as I can to kill as many of these guys as I can. I really want to get it where I can see how many units these guys have killed because there's something satisfying in finding out that because um, we track it, we're just not displaying it. But I bet you that uh, this thing has killed a lot of guys. Right. So my main party is way over here. It's really powerful. It's got a 77 combat rating, which if you've played the game, you know that's really pretty good. Uh, but I can't do much about that until I find the lieutenants and kill one of them. And that's uh, that's kind of where I am right now. I'm going to keep building. Oh, so see how the land is all scorched and wrecked around here yes so i have been using what have you done i have been using a great deal of magic to uh to destroy my enemies before they could take my cities but i'm down to two cities right so this is a huge map and i'm down to two cities but i'm still alive and you're going with the scorched earth tactic i see is, i'm going is, with all the tactics i can uh, whatever it takes to win right <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to see. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm zoom in. Whoops. Uh, kind of. There we go. So these guys, I'm definitely hurting them. Yeah. I got my paladin. Yay. I really wish I had an archon. I don't have enough logistics. I really need. Oh, I should be able to build a temple if the temple is working. And it is not. Hooray. <laughs> In that it is a temple just not will, available yet. Or? Well, here's the problem. Okay. So as the doomsday counter goes up, I my my people start to lose hope. Okay. And hope a lack of hope creates thralls. Aha. Uh -huh. And every thrall consumes one logistics. And so, is a thrall an individual who has essentially given up. lost all hope? Okay. Yep. So they're no longer working. All right. They've given up, and that's bad for me, um, because. They must have just gotten. All right, 368. Yeah, it's bad. I it's really, bad. really. That, like I said, if I, if the, I was supposed to get my temples, but for some reason they're not here. So I should have great temples. 
uh, in my cities, and I, for whatever reason, I can't build them, which mm. is a little frustrating. That they're not Are you sure you have that thing? It looked like it was not as as this bright as the others. Yeah, so it doesn't oh, look like you I have see it. What you're saying, you're yeah. right. Well, hopefully, well, I hope so. That would be great because uh, I'm I'm gonna get my next one in three turns. So you could get that. Two turns now. All right. So I can click on this and I can take my ma my magic that's coming in from the shards and adapt it. So that would be really good because I I need it like right now. Another thing I could do that would be really helpful is if I could, there, over here is, are some places with, uh, this would be a great place to found a city. And if I did that, I could get logistics as well, but I would have to get over here. Well, I would have to have a force necessary to do that. And I don't, ha it's a chicken or egg type thing. So, all right, so idle cities, what am I gonna do here? I don't have enough logistics. So let's build a, what should I build? I'm gonna go ahead and build the watchtower to expand my Zoc, which will allow me to be hitting units further away. Zoc being zone of control. Yep, zone Although of control. I, I suspect that everybody watching this actually totally knows what that is, because you guys are pretty much hardcore gamers watching. This is. Now, the good news is these huge armies are not, are almost certainly not coming to kill me. They're still trying to target the shards. And that's the only thing that's really saving me is because I, again, I groveled to the <laughs> Sorcerer King to spare me. Okay. Uh, to lower my threat, my perceived threat to him. Okay. But I, I still have, oh, I'm allied with these guys. Good. There Are those ice dwarves? Yes, and as you can see, I have a really pretty graphic here. <laughs> that'll that'll be going in. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, what, what, what do we need here? Can you spare soldiers? He want weapons or armor. Let's see what he has for armor. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I needed all the things. <laughs> That's how I always feel. All right, so let's go to our equipment. And I'm pretty sure she, the uh, Slayer, yes, she has a slot for a shield. Excellent. Yes. Yes, it is. And fire attack. Nice. And I might even be able to craft some new things from all that. Staff of the Furnace, yes! <laughs> because now I can go. Can we shoot fire at them? Well, I have, all right, so Kaplan's Staff does six physical attack and has some spell mastery, which I don't care about the spell mastery. This does 10 attack. A so, nice. So okay. I'm going to swap that out. Yes. So I have a really decent army here. It would be nice if it was bigger, and be, but I can't find, that would be a great spell, by the way, uh, for the Starak team listening. Yes. I would like a spell uh -oh. that I can cast that will tell me where the lieutenants are. Oh. So I can find them. I don't, even if it's expensive, if I could just, on a, we didn't really care so much on the small maps, but this, like I said, this is hours of play and I've only explored this part. Yeah, really? Um, we do have a question from the forum. Do, does the tyrant's spell of making need to take longer to work th uh, through the tree to select? Does that make sense? Um, yeah. It basically, the question I think his question is: is where on a spell you can can you get to it pretty quickly? Right. And I think the answer to that is yeah. There needs to be a lot of balance there. I suspect it is too quick to get to that. Um, you think it's too quick right now? I think to it's get too. To it. Yeah. Okay. It's probably too quick, and I suspect we will want to make it so that you have to get some cr special ingredients. For Right, if you're going to cast mm -hmm. a spell making, I think it should involve more than just mana. Even, sure. the, I mean, the Sorcerer King has to do with more than just get mana. Mm -hmm. So there, there are ways of getting around. All right, oh, there we go. Great temples. And we do have another question. Can you deconstruct unwanted items? No. We okay. had that, and okay. we took it away. It became, we got a number of things that are really gamey, but that was really gamey. Okay. And tedious. We don't want to make players, and this is, one of those things that we really struggle with. We don't want players to have to play through tedium in order to not feel like they're chumps. Mm -hmm. Like one of the things we're struggling with right now 
is, oops, don't we? I want the temple. I need the temple. <laughs> don't don't forget to get that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you've been waiting for. Yeah. So, well, I better have it now. Or else there'll be a lot of crying and anger. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Yay. Yay. No crying and anger. Well, okay, they're still crying and anger, but yeah. it's not about that. Yeah. There we go. And I'm going to summon it. There. Did you see my thralls just went down? So next turn, and my see this, my logistics is merely zero instead of negative two. Oh, good. We have a question from Planetology. Um, could you talk about the future of map sizes for a minute? Last I heard, you've been trying to speed up play in the small maps, so will we not be able to see anything larger than, or anything bigger than a large map? Well, I'm playing on a huge map right now. So what are the sizes? We have tiny, small, tiny, medium, medium, large, large and, huge. and huge. Okay. And this is huge. It is quite large. I'm All pretty right. sure it's quite a bit bigger than the largest map in Fallen Enchantress. And that is new for this beta. So anybody who has early access has access to these maps now? Yeah, yep. And this is a random map. So I have, which is really, I don't it's even know what the shape of it is. Yeah. And I realize I'm not playing with the cheat keys. So I don't even, I can't even. This is a, a a true game. There's no che <laughs> no cheating has been involved in this. You can see the special Okay. Um but the problem is is that the Destiny, the Doom's encounters at 418. That's a lot. It is. It doesn't look good. Um and I'm only on and I'm only on turn 151. So we still have more balancing to go because I don't I don't feel that's nearly enough turns for a huge map. That it turns out though that there's a there's a really easy lever some easy levers we're going to get in for that the big one is how much doomsday should be generated when a when a uh, shard dies hmm. and that's really why I had one where there were there's a lot of shards on this map and as a result when they get destroyed the doomsday counter goes up like 40 oh yeah and he's just well, in fact we'll go take a look at that all right so let's see I'm playing as a priest I've just had a vision and I know one of the, this one at the top is not supposed to be here, but uh, I'm going to use my power to reduce the Doomsday Counter. Mm. So there it went down 10. Let's go back over nice. the report, though. And the, the, so the, the Sorcerer King has killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shards. My goodness. Yeah, so that's why... I'm I'm hurrying. I've got 15 shards on this map. The Doomsday counter is at 400. And I, to be honest, though, if I could find the uh, if I could just find. Oh God, it's really bad. <laughs> all right, let's think about this for a second. I have all right. I have no Destiny's favor though left. Now this is where I might give up. <laughs> I might become well, a the thrall. Thing is, I don't know <laughs> if he's attacking my going to attack me or if he's going after the shark. Right. Because again, my um, my, I'm not much of a threat to him right now, mm -hmm. so it's not clear. I have a hundred mana. You had used up all your favor. How do you get more of that? Um, I just over it, time. No, I have to get up to the sovereign's prayer. I see. But I'm not going to get that for 16 turns. Uh, so I would have to last... Six. I chose to get temples instead. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, are they going to attack me? I don't think that these... Unit, I don't think they have enough... Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think and you're, you're tough enough to take me. <laughs> all right. I, sh I don't know. Um... Let's see what's going to happen first. All I'm right. going to use some scrolls. I have a fireball scroll. I have a curse. Oh, yeah. We we definitely want. We're going to use. Oh, that's only for one unit. We're going to use the fireball. We need the nuke them from orbit spell. Yes. yes. I've got a lot of mana. We're going to raise a skeleton horde. Good, good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can take them. Or, okay. Oh, dear. He dodged. Yay. Good. Okay, that was unexpected. 
Yeah, it's these uh, fallen princesses are just very nasty creatures. Yeah. Okay, that. Hmm. All right, rain or storm of arrows. I need to get them to fix this. This, by the way, Stardock team, this mouse, this uh, flickering tooltip stuff needs to be fixed like pronto. Right up there with the extremely ugly uh, mouse cursor. Okay, so. I'm just taking some notes here. Flickering uh, tooltip. They know about it. It's just. Uh, it's it's cosmetic, so they don't. But it, it tries when you're playing the game for hours and hours. It is extremely annoying. Sure. Okay, what else we got here? Skeleton horde summon. I don't even. Well, let's find out if this works because it may not even work. This is a spell that does not work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it uses a lot of mana, so. Oh, good. So we have that it. going. All right, we're gonna try the ice elemental. All right, that Ooh, worked. Look at that. Thank That's goodness. Exciting. But now I'm out of Sovereign Spell, so I'm on my own. So we're going to... Is there sound in combat right now? Should there be sound in combat? There should be. Oh, yeah, there should okay. be a ton of it. We might, uh, once you're done with this battle, maybe have you adjust your combat I can. audio. I mean, it's already as loud as it's Oh, it I see. Okay. So if it, they can't hear it, there's something wrong on the... Uh, levels or sure and that's very possible that that could be something there should be sound in the combat that was a question uh in yes the there channel. should be all sorts of pew pew <laughs> ah, <laughs> right there. brad and i could make the sounds <laughs> 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 yeah okay how about that yeah there should be a ton of it that's our um the basically windows failed badly mm-hmm <laughs> I can't believe they're bold enough to attack my capital like this. Well, which makes me a little nervous. They think you're a groveling oh, nitwit. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, dear. Maybe that's why they're bold enough. You know what? All right. So, I don't have... Let's see. I don't have any... You know, this is why you're supposed to save mana potions. <laughs> Take a note, players. This is why you're supposed to save mana potions. Uh, so Arch Dugalstein had a question. Uh, was there an intentional decision to make starts harder? It felt that way last night. Also, the commander seems to have a really hard start. Uh, I think it depends. Well, in terms of, it, there's nothing special. All the units start with the same um, surrounding I'm dead. Mm -hmm. um, this is where we go to the <laughs> Yes, I'm a dirty man. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the only one on Earth who's ever done this. I just can't believe they dared attack my capital. Yeah. I, I, I got... Uh, my threat's only two. They should be nicer. Well, maybe um, the AI needs to be adjusted. You, there's... Uh, if if you're having trouble, lower the difficulty. I mean, right. really. Uh, right. There's a lot of stuff on easy. We'll continue to make it even easier on the lower levels. There's not that much stuff around your starting area generally, We, um, but... Obviously, if you're new to the game, it right now it defaults to normal. It mm -hmm. probably shouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, default to normal. Okay. I have no favor. I have 100 mana. No, I think it should default to normal. Uh, I mean, normal is normal. I mean, if you want it to be easy, well, well, you yeah, can but change how, it. Well, what about... Be yeah, but it could say beginner as a default. Mm. Well, that's true. All right. We're going to move these guys here to our capital. Because I had a vision, a holy vision, that <laughs> they're the going to attack. <laughs> I'm, 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 I am in awe of your visions. Well, you know, oh, uh oh, I am out of moves. Oh dear. All right, what do I have here? Cleanse, cleanse land. Hmm. What? Oh, cleanse land. Uses Doomsday Counter. Oh. And it has a terrible tooltip. Oh, I have a. Oh, I could reduce Doomsday, but that won't do me any good. I'm going to need that. Oh. Well. Wow. So wait a minute. That spell. I thought it was using Favor. 
It's using Doomsday. Oh, I've been casting that spell. Oh, no. See all this over here? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just not... Again, well, no wonder. this because this... See this? Mm -hmm. I see Cleanse Land. I'm um, not looking at the... Uh, what it's using. Well, I, this icon here, if it uses other resources, it needs to display them here. But the fact that I messed it up. And again, look at the flickering tool tip. It's yeah. very annoying. Um, you know why it's doing that? Because it's uh, only it only comes up where it's a non-transparent. Yeah, the target area needs to be the largest possible area. Yes, it needs to be at square. Okay, so idle units. I'm still trying. Oops, cancel. Let me just keep running up here. Let's see what's there. Yeah, and I want that mouse cursor fixed. It's gigantic mm -hmm. and blocky. Okay, there we go. There we go. I should be able to go and cleanse land. Ah, it's on a river. I can't. You need a spell where you can flood the river and sweep them all away like Hercules. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if I had these three guys here, and I had this here, Okay, okay. Cleanse land. I may not be able to get him, but I can... Are you going to destroy your outpost? Or is it just the land that gets... Oh, yeah. I have to look at why cleanse land is not letting me... It's just not liking that, huh? It's just not letting you do it. Yeah, but I'm not sure why. I need to find a, a unit that I can cast it on. Let's do bug testing while we're... <laughs> well, it is in beta. Yeah. Well, I'm curious about that. Because um, I should be able to cast it on. I'll just have to look at the spell. <clears throat> All right, so cleanse land I need. Uh, divine wisdom, arcane veil, place road, reduce doomsday. Tornado. There we go. Let's blow them away. Oh, wow, that was handy. Can I do that again? Because I'm going to need to do that again. <laughs> and again and again. Oh, it's 50 mana? Make a note. Should only be 10. Okay. Because that's too much. Make a note. Okay. I like that. I have now decided that I like that spell. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Because they're also they are also stunned for a while. I was gonna say what? Yeah, what? Oh, not only are they stunned, but they're stunned in uh, where they're all gonna get picked off. I like that. Like one at a time. Now they're all separated. I, I, I need more metal. Okay, so that's it. Boy, oh, and that sound effect was. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. I can't believe. Uh, yeah, volume here. I'll, I'm gonna turn up everything to max. And then we can ask people if they can hear it. Okay. Okay, you guys, let us know if you hear any uh, additional combat sounds or anything, or if it's if the combat, if the game sounds are overwhelming the our speaking voices. Let us know. Okay, so we still have to find our. We still have to find that lieutenant. I'm in friendly territory. And because I'm in friendly territory, I'm allied with both of these guys. And mm -hmm. these are the cracks, the Imperial Remnant and the Dwarves. Nice. And if we're lucky, we'll, we, they may be killing off these guys. So they're at war with the Sorcerer King now as well. Well, that's something. Yep, see? Ooh. I guess the game is quite loud now. Oh, too loud? Probably too loud. Interesting. Right back down. At least we know it works. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Did you just, uh, hopefully you guys saw the uh, Sorcerer King units taking a bit of a beating. And that's why those miners matter so much. But we have to make sure we communicate that even more to the player. So, like, 
Um, when a battle like that happens, we need to inform the player, hey, the Sorcerer King just lost a major battle to your Dwarven allies, which is great. Man, that didn't take long. Just Briefly, well, after your quest, can we just look at the the game, the sound, sorry, the music volume is what I'm trying uh, to say. Music volume's too loud. Yeah, a little bit. All right. In this field once stood a fortress of the fortress of Herodom. Now long gone, but for a few of its foundational stones, the fortress was said to have stood for hundreds of years until it was captured by the forces of the fallen enchantress, who smote it down to the bare earth with powerful magic. To one side, you spy an unnatural depression in the earth. There are signs of movement there, evil signs. <laughs> if you want to investigate further, you may be in for a fight. I, I'm just curious as to what evil signs of movement are, as opposed to other signs of movement. Evil. Is it slithering, as opposed to creeping? I, I, I'm not sure. I think we're supposed to use our imagination. I see. All right. So which do you want to investigate vigorously? Investigate carefully or leave quietly. Boy, that's a tough one. Um, probably since we've chosen to go on this quest, investigate carefully. Okay. From a hiding spot, you see the pit is full of Erkson, as well as a fallen apprentice directing their excavations. They appear to be digging out fragments of a massive magical siege weapon, which apparently blew itself up when it was used. They also appear to be standing beneath some big rocks push the rocks onto them. All right. You ha heave the rocks down onto the Yerkson below, slaying many of them. The rest of them, unslain, seem upset with you. <laughs> now, why would that be? <laughs> I don't know. See, this is the kind of entitlement that really right. drives me crazy. <laughs> this should uh, end very poorly for Did them. Did we get the apprentice? We got the apprentice, right? We're just... Uh... No, we don't get the apprentice. The apprentice is on their side. The right. No, I'm, I'm sorry. When I say get, I mean kill. With the uh, rocks. No, we did not. The apprentice is over here. I see. And she is angry. Mm -hmm. So we're going to uh, try to kill her first. Is there anything else we can do? All right. And what else can he do? What can, we, what can you do? Holy charge. I can be. I mean, I have a really power. This is my army. This is my source. Of power. Or as this is the stack of doom. So for those of you not familiar with this game, this game is all about building the stack of doom. Um, we we feel every game that's come out in recent years has tried to punish you for having a stack of doom. Sorcerer King embraces it. <laughs> Build that stack of doom. Build it. Good. There we go. So very easy. Only to, I took. One damage. Nice. All right, so what did they get? Oh, wisdom and a round shield. Normally, a round shield would be a pretty big deal, but... But you don't need it. I don't need it because I got what I got it from uh, the dwarves. You're, yeah. Or no, not the dwarves. Someone gave it to Some me. Some ally of yours. All right, uh, let's check that um, music. Oh, the sound, right. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Music... That, that's probably... Can you hear I, it? Uh, I cannot, oh. but I think that, you know, yeah, somewhere in the upper two-thirds is probably a good balance. All right. Zen dog, Zen dog dreams of a medium-sized bone, you know. i got to have everything sort of balanced. I have no mana. I am in big trouble. Oh, I am in big trouble. Look at that. And yet... I am so close. Well, okay, I'm 37 turns. Close. <laughs> They're not going to attack my con attack me at that point. They're just trying to get to this. I, if I can just find the lieutenant. Again, Stardock. I need one to spell. Reveal lieutenant. I can't even tell you the code. It would have to. 
it would reveal in all unique units. Oh. All units that are... They are going to attack my city. Well, it is what they do. I've only got eight mana, though, so there won't be any... Um, there won't be any skeleton hordes here. This is mm. what we do have. Heroic precision, though, is nice. Oh, I wish I could do that mass... Uh, mass... Oh, mass slow. There we go. All right, can people hear sound this time? Yes, they were saying earlier that they that the the battle sound effects are working fine now, and that they can hear both of us. So you know, 36 min minutes into the oh, they can hear us. They can. Did they hear us before? I think the music was a little overpowering at one point, but we're good. All right. <gasps> oh. Oh dear. The pro it, it's funny oh. because I was talking to Derek about this that the reg the r monsters and ruffian forces are kind of crap. Mm -hmm. Then you run into these guys and, and they, they're they're quite nasty. They're yeah. What level is this guy? Level ten. That's why. Those things. Everyone hates them. Whatever they are, shadow work. Oh, Those by the way, things. my build has this weird bug where there's little X's above here. I don't know why that is. I don't think that's in the public build. But if you are playing a public build and are getting those X's, I would like to know. Yeah, Crap. okay. I am going to lose my capital. You are. I... That doesn't... What is that? Oh, wow. Yeah, no one likes Shadow Wars. No, they're just so strong. What do they have? Three attacks per round? Claw Claw Bite? It, well, um, at first... Oh, you know... See, the screen this isn't showing up. That's why. I'm not even getting their stats. Right. And I, that one was slowed. It's um, still killing you. Yeah. All right. These, I'm going to die. Yeah. Somehow this is your fault. We, we should probably start playing taps. I mean... This is my capital. Once I lose this, I am done. It was always going to happen. And that's the end. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. This is what happens when you use all your destinies, uh, your, all of your destinies. See, I would normally have flattened these guys. See all mm -hmm. this stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have normally come in, cast some spells, and just devastated them. Right. But you don't, you don't have the mana. No, I don't have the, uh, I used all my destinies favors unwittingly on my uh, unit here. So I, I'm doomed. So how much is left in this particular podcast? Because there's no coming back from <laughs> 20, that. 20 minutes. Oh. 20 minutes. All right. I suppose we could end it early when everybody dies. But uh, well, uh, I, I do have a question for you. Mr. Twinkletoes was wondering how many races in this game. Uh, let's find out. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this one. Nice. Plus me i'm allied with one two of them one two three four of them are allied with the sorcerer king mm -hmm. and one of them is allied with or one of them still neutral and are these actual races or are they just factions well they're races okay i mean it's not like fallen chanters where they're all kind of uh, human okay so the, see, I mean, like the uh, dwarves are dwarf. I mean, they're very different. The, these guys are, sort of the keepers of the flame are fire guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't, like I said, the, uh, these guys, I would really appreciate the, the ability help. to destroy them. Oh, these, yeah. So there's a dwarf. I would like to have one of those. Mm -hmm. What difficulty level are you playing on, Brad? I am on normal. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like I said, the problem is I did made two gigantic mistakes in this game. Mm -hmm. One is I didn't realize that spell was using Destiny's Favors, which means Stardock fix it. And two, um, I did not realize that that other spell was u costing me 10 uh, Doomsday points because it also was not the spell in the main... Spellbook. 
Mm-hmm. They're all there in a tooltip, but who reads tooltips? Right. I've done this ogre quest, whatever it is, before, and I tell you what, they are badasses. Or at least they were in the... It was, it's been a while, so maybe I wasn't a big enough uh, uh, threat to them, but they... Well, I get to battle a very similar army that took my capital with my Sorcerer King killing army. But okay. I still only have 16 mana. Um, so what... Oh, heroic Precision uses no mana, so I will put it on. Who do I put that on? Oh, they got a good beating. Oh, they cast oh, the other thing is that these Destiny Sentinels are no such thing. They only have like a tiny amount of hit points and they're pretty crappy. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to be fixed up too. Alright, what do we got here? Shockwave. Shockwave sounds devastating. It is. I need to be around a lot of enemies for it to be any good. Eh. <laughs> okay, that was less devastating than I thought it was going to be. 18's a lot. It's just those wargs are so, so horrible. They're they're a pretty high level unit. Okay. Well, I've learned something today. One, these uh, apprentices are nasty creatures, mm -hmm. and so are these wargs. Why did I bring him forward? That was dumb. Ugh. You're, you're, I, I don't know how to tell you this, Brad. Yeah, this is ending poorly for me. <laughs> this is, uh, not going well. Yeah, well, we need to, uh, another thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get a lot more, I know it's kind of embarrassing when the guy, the designer gets his butt kicked in the game. So, <clears throat> spy conquest, and that's what that screen looks like. I'm yes. sure none of you have ever seen that before, or will again. Oh yes. All right. So, what did we learn from that game? Well, I'll tell you what we learned. Um, Dobson said he learned not to go up against the Sorcerer King because he'll kick your butt. Yeah. No. What I there's a few things. One is that the sum we have to get in. I was really hoping to have these done before the holiday, but we're going on vacation at the end of the week. Is that um, if I'm playing, a, I have this sovereign comes with a lot of, uh, su um, not summing. Uh, summoning? Summoning. Yeah, okay. Summoning. <laughs> We're not even drunk yet. No, not, not yet. <laughs> summoning spell books. And I did not, I don't have enough. So that's one. Oh, if I had a control M. Uh, I would I, just, I don't, I it's like, it's them. not, you know, like with the elevator button, you keep pushing it, thinking the elevator will somehow come faster. If control M doesn't work once, I don't think it'll work in the next 50 times that you try. No, it. no. So anyways, I, here, let me, let's, let's go, let's walk through this. So for the people okay. watching the different things that we still have to address in this. All right. Um, first of all, I, at my sovereign, let's see, has a uh, one, two, three, four three summoning spell books and I'm pretty laid in but I don't have let's pretend I have mana mm -hmm. so these are the spells I have one two three I have these I have eight 16 I only I first of all I only have 16 spells which okay. is not enough I right. should be I should have gotten in and that was 56 turns mm -hmm. I should have probably 20 some spells and so that was have, based on decisions you've made earlier in the game that you yeah okay. well but basically we have a pacing issue right the spells are a little too expensive we were I was just talking to Adam about this earlier secondly um, there are not enough like this the only decent spell I got that could was this was this and this actually cost me a favor okay so it doesn't even have anything to do with my summoning spell book mm -hmm. so there is not a single monster summoning strategic spell in here that I got. So that's one of the things we have to get. I might even, if people want to hang out on our forums this Christmas season, I might even put up a zip with some of my own mods so that people don't have to wait until the beginning of next year. So if they go to www.sorcererking.com and hang out in the forums, I'll probably put up builds for my own machine so other people can try this stuff out for themselves. Because we wow. have, 
one of the, we did get they're in the game in the sense that the the art assets for all these new creatures that you're going to summon mm -hmm. are in the game. We just don't have the actual XML for the spells to summon them. Okay. Up. So you're going to give out a mod for an unfinished game? Yeah, well, I just don't <laughs> want people to have to wait till the, I, the the game is really fun. I it mean, is, I had a good time. Yeah. Uh, even though even if I lost, uh, it you is. You learned a, a lot. I mean, there's many reasons to play a game for you. So especially this one, you're right. And I did enjoy it. it. I want. You know, I see this, and I suspect I'm not the only one who says, hey, I want, s another thing is I would like to have more spells. And like I said, I could have gone and wiped these guys out. But I would like to have more stuff that does mass damage. So when I see these guys doing, just massing on me like this, I want to be able to go and kill them. Right. If I have the mana. Now, unfortunately, and I still have, oh, they did kill that. So they destroyed that shard on me. That was bad. Um, oops, I don't know why I'm. That one's still doing okay. So there, there's still... Another thing I may do, um, I'll have to play around with it. I might make outposts no longer cost a logistics, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should logistic, should a outpost cost one logistics? Right now, it does. And the idea was that we don't want people to just spam out um, outposts. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, they are fun to build. Right. Well, we'll it takes like a minute on Twitch for what we say to catch up. So we'll oh, give, no, no. It, give it a second. We're going to do it live. We're doing it live. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give give them a chance to hear your question. While we're waiting, though, uh, Tobzin asked, does that divine summon um, give back the favor if the summon dies? I.e., is it an upkeep cost like logistics? or No, no, it's gone. Cost? It's a favor. You're asking a favor. You're rubbing... It is a favor in the same sense that you are asking a genie for a wish. Okay. It's a wish. Once you've used that wish, whether you wish for, you know, the wrong thing, you know, a, a Kleenex. I wish I had a Kleenex right now or something like that. And right. Use up a wish accidentally. It's gone. Now, another thing I would like to get ask players is that I don't currently allow the remnant factions to colonize new cities. Okay. Right. Because they're not really... Is it's not supposed to, you're not supposed to be really competing with them, but I wonder what players think about that because I could do it easily. I mean, I have all kinds of AI code for it, but I'm not sure. I'm just curious what people think about that. My inclination is I certainly don't want them to be expansive, mm -hmm. right? But we're not talking about that's not even on the table. I mean, it, we have a pretty solid game design on what we want to do, but at the same time, we want to. We definitely want to make sure that the player feels like these minor races, which are very interesting and can do so many interesting things. That's a little redundant. Uh, it, uh, that the player has some reason to fear them. They're too easy to kill right now. So, Knowledge1970 says outposts should use logistics from the first upgrade and then each upgrade on, but not on, the, but not on building. And but I'll make it worse, right? Because now my upgrade... Because that would actually encourage people just to um, spam a gajillion crappy mm -hmm. ones. And Tobzin said, what about outposts only costing logistics as long as they're not connected to your domain? Hmm. That seems like that would get kind of complicated. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could just... Guys... Where's that tornado? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. 50 mana. We got to fix that. That's another thing. Right. Some of these spells are ridiculous. 50 mana. Come on. I should be able to spend 10 mana and blow these guys. You know, if it was killing them all, right. that would be one thing, but they're right. not. They're not. They're just moving them a little ways away and stunning so them. So I'd like to. I'll fix that today. Okay. On my build, anyway. If you, <laughs> Those of you who are playing the game, though, if you want to try out different things for yourself, the it's just in plain text. You just go into the data backslash English directory, look for core spells.xml, and you can actually, it's very straightforward how to uh, change things. So you can mod it to how you want. The whole game is extremely moddable. You could, one of our jokes is that we could make Baldur's Gate with this engine. I love Baldur's Gate. A player, Gate. without our invention, you know, without us being involved, could actually go and recreate Baldur's Gate. This, this is my second Twitch and the second time I've said how much I love Baldur's Gate. I might have a problem. Yes. I might be a, living too much in the past. That is, a, it is a great game. <laughs> um, we, do ha we have 10 minutes left. Uh, I just want to update everybody, let 
remind everyone, I think we've mentioned this a couple times now, but that we are, Stardock is actually closed for the next two weeks. So we will not be having a Galactic Civilizations 3 Twitch stream on Friday. And for the next two weeks, we will not be having uh, any streams. So the, the week of January 5 is when we come back. So that Wednesday, which is the 7th, will be the next Sorcerer King Twitch that we have. At oh, that man. point, we'll probably have made up. quite a few changes, because although we're closed, of course, uh, Brad and, and others will probably be working over the break. We just, you know, get to work from home and stuff, which is a pretty sweet thing. Yeah, I'm always around. Brad is pretty much always around. He's not lying about that. He is not one of these uh, laissez-faire, hands-off CEOs. We sometimes wish he was. Yes. But he's not. Especially the, uh, especially the poor people in PR. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And now I would like to go on record for <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> which, which country, which poor country are you yeah, going to exactly. come out against this time? Oh, I know. Well, it's, that's one of the things about Twitter that's, uh, that drives me crazy. It's just, when did everyone get so start thinking being offended by something somehow gave them some special rights i don't know that's an excellent question that's one of the things i've noticed i mean you and i we've been around what's we're in our a, 20s a, a, li a little longer than we like well, to admit yes and, and and it's it's one of those things where i'm always surprised at how many people say that offended me right well i'm sorry i don't who gives a crap right <laughs> i'm sorry you feel that way yeah but that's all but I people can online really... think act like they are they somehow are entitled now that right. they have some sort of privilege as if because they have been offended or some other thing. It drives me crazy. Stephen Fry, the actor who I love so very, very much, um, actually has a great quote about that. I, I'm paraphrasing, but he essentially says, you being offended just means that you're offended. It does not mean that I have to do anything about it. Right? That's your choice. Uh, it's fine. It's up to you. But basically, you know, sorry. Right, <laughs> you know, exactly. Like, that's all I can really say about that. Yeah, those, uh, ooh, that's interesting. So Pi Thudson, oh, never I'm mind. totally butchering that name, I'm sure, says there's two things we heard in the game. Strategy looks like Panzer General and looks like Fallen Infantry. Is that a class you were taking that were they, or was this someplace else, Pi Thudson? Pi Thudson? That you were hearing these things. Hearing what? Uh, he said he, he heard two things in wargaming, strategy gaming today, which I'm wondering if that's a class or some kind of stream or something. That oh, in wargaming? Oh, no. I think, well, wait, in, uh, in wargaming? Wargaming slash strategy gaming. Oh, um, he could be talking about Reddit. He could be talking about a stream that I'm not familiar with. Okay. Just internets, he said. Well, that's ah. cool. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Well, yeah. I tell you, Fallen Enchantress and you know, well, Legendary Heroes in particular really do some interesting things. I'm very much looking forward to uh, doing 2.0 of that, mm -hmm. which, by the way, will be a free update to, <laughs> to uh, that game. Thompson said, a faction being offended just gives them a negative diplomacy modifier. Ah, Trade with their it. enemies instead. <laughs> Uh, Planetology ha says, have you considered having outposts not cost logistics, but rather having a limit to how many you can build for each map size? That would free up logistics points and still add strategy to placing outposts. Uh, what, but what would be our just? How would we limit it other than saying you can't build anymore because you're playing on medium? Mm -hmm. By the way, you're not, and, and you know that would it, it would kind of be a break immersion, I think. Right, that that's could be. Tobzin said we could <clears throat> connect it to the number of cities. Instead, that's like a, a, now limit, that's a limit per city. Yeah, now I think. Uh, yeah, this uh, Thompson guy is a smart dude. I I, I like him. So is Planet. Oh my God! Now here's oh, by the way, here's a bug. Look at that. Oh my God! What is that? There's some problem. I have. I made a say game where there, this is a uh, rally point. Yeah. And there's apparently something really crazy going on. Yeah. Is there something already there, and that it's just having trouble figuring out what's happening? I don't know. So this huh. is one of those. Something one, the AI shouldn't even be able to get this many units. Right. So I have to, that's why we have save games. I'll load up in the debugger and see what's going on. Because uh, one of the things that makes it suspicious is where are these units coming from? I mean, they're not coming from here. Mm -hmm. it takes 91 turns for it to build. It's look what it's building though. Uh, it's building a, some very bad things. Mm. It doesn't look like it's yours, whatever it is. No. Yeah. 
All right. So, anything else we should talk about today? Anything from the channel? I think we're I think we're good. Black Smoke Max said, "What about a certain number of outposts per map size?" Then after that, it cost logistics, which I think was essentially what Planetology had already suggested. Yeah. Um, and Brad's response was just that he didn't want to artificially limit things in that way um, without justification. But if there's a limit per city, that would actually make sense, make more sense. So that's something that we might consider. Um, on the other hand, it is really fun mm -hmm. to uh, prevent people from doing what they want to do. Right. That's totally not what you're going to say. I know. No, it's it, it is very fun to uh, where is it? That's interesting. Um, no, it's it's fun to build outposts. So I'm not sure if we should punish people for building outposts at all. Right. Because you're already charged one for the outpost, and then you are charged another logistics for every improvement you build mm -hmm. in that zone of control. Right. And I think one of those things needs to go away. Personally, I'm inclined to go with the outpost still costing logistics, but the improvements mm -hmm. not. Because then you're because otherwise you're in this really weird situation where um, I don't I'm I don't want to be building on a um, a, a mine. Mm -hmm. I'll play around with that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Anyone who's uh, gonna be around this uh, this next week, visit us on sorcererking.com. I will be around. I'll also be on gaussiv 3com because I'll be in that code right. base as well. Right. Brad. In fact, Brad has his fingers in all the pies. We have uh, three minutes left, and Brad, I just I think I ought to tell you. You know, we've known each other for about ten years now, and in this during this holiday time, I just want you to know that. I've never liked you. I know. It's all right. And, and you know, the, it, it, is it the, that now, is it the odor? <laughs> partly the odor. Yeah. It's a, but only partly. I mean, let's be honest. You're, you're, you are who you are. And I, and, I am, uh, you embrace that. So it, it is true. I am like, I think you should be someone else, frankly. I've been going through the <laughs> list you gave me. <laughs> right. And I, I'm thinking like, like Dustin Hoffman. That would be okay with me, I think. Although I've never actually met him, so I could I could regret my choices. Maybe it's better the devil you know. That's true. Mm. But, so which devil? <laughs> which devil? Which indeed? of the devils? <laughs> well, uh, we're getting a lot of um, you know happy holidays kind of words from the the channel here, and I I do appreciate that. Everybody, we actually here at Stardock want you to know that we we really appreciate your business, but. Almost more than that, we, we appreciate your interaction and, and your feedback. And, you know, obviously, if we, we wouldn't be in this industry if there weren't people like you who actually cared about what we were doing. If nobody cared, why would we do it? So I know. It it's is. great to be able to talk to you guys uh, and, and hear what you have to say. Yes. Yeah, so next time we're getting drunk. Right. Well, we will. Well, next time we're at the bar, Chris <laughs> and I will be thinking about you guys. We will. If we can think at all. Yes. Yes. So... So thank you all very much. Have a wonderful, happy holidays from Brad and I and everybody here at Stardock. And we will see you the week of uh, January 5th. Hooray!